Hello everyone. Welcome back to the lectures of process modeling and simulation course. I am your instructor, Engineer Mohammad Haris Humayo, working as lecturer at Department of Chemical Engineering, Commerce University, Islamabad, Lahore campus. And the modules which we are covering these days is related to the determination or estimation or calculation of physical properties and thermodynamic models. Our today's lecture is related to the activity number seven which is related to the development of phase equilibrium in a binary mixture. So let's quickly go to this exercise and study what are the simulation requirements, how we can extract our required results. So the question is that we have to draw the pressure temperature plot for ethane heptane binary mixture. The objective of this simulation is learn how to plot the PT diagram of a mixture. If you remember in our previous lectures, we have developed PT diagram of a pure component, but this time we will develop PT diagram of a mixture in S1 plus require input skills in properties and analysis. So as you see that we have to plot the PT diagram, we have to require the input skills in properties and analysis. And since it's related to the analysis, so it is related to the CLO number four. And since it involves the basics as well. So it is related to the CLO number one as well. In problem description, we have been given two tasks. Number one, how PT diagram of ethane heptane looks if we vary the fraction in 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1 of vapor fraction. Means we will be varying vapor fraction from 0 to 1 with a step size of 0.2 and we will observe that what type of PT diagram we get. If you remember the phase diagram of PT envelope, then it should be some sort of an envelope as depicted in the literature. And then plot all PT diagrams of five different mole fractions and merge plot to see the trend PT envelopes. This is also the same PT envelope, but in this case, we will be generating five different mole fractions. 0.1 for ethane and 0.9 for heptane, then 0 0.3, 0 0.7 and so on. We will develop it and then we will merge all these five plots to see the PT envelope. So our first task is to select the proper units. These are by default units already selected in the S1 domain. Then we have to select the components ethane and heptane. And then we will start with the ideal property package. If you remember, we have selected the analysis tab in our previous task as well. So we will select analysis, choose PT envelope from here. And then we will specify the flow rates. Initially for the first problem, we will specify the equimolar and the mole fractions which we have to enter. If you, I go back, which are these mole fractions, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. There is no need to give zero and one. It will be selected by default. So once you come back, you have to give the mole fractions over here. Additional vapor fraction, you see 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and then run the analysis. And once you run the analysis, you see vapor fraction is equal to 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and last one for one shown in green line. If you see, this is not an envelope. Means ideal property package is not suitable for ethane heptane mixture in order to depict the PT envelope because you see this is not an envelope but these are the independent lines and they are not connected with each other. You can see the results over here as well. If I take you to an other diagram then you see the same diagram using Peng Robinson equation of state then you see this is a pure envelope diagram the same diagram which I have shown you previously, it were simple lines and not connected with each other. But if you see, these lines are now connected with each other and making a proper plot. So you see that Peng Robinson equation of state is applied over here. And if you remember my first lecture in which I have told you to use thermodynamic packages, I have told you at that time that for hydrocarbons, we use the Peng Robinson equation of state and ethane is a, a hydrocarbon. Heptane is an other hydrocarbon. Similarly, coming back to our problem number two, 
which was related to the plot of the PT diagram of five different mole fractions and then merge these plots. So what you do, you come to analysis and then develop another PT envelope and for this you take it as 1 and 9. It means the total flow rate is 10, 1 mole for ethane and 9 moles for heptane means mole fraction of ethane is 0.1 and for heptane it's 0.9. Generate the plot. Similarly, do for 37557391. This 37 means 0.3 mole fraction for ethane, 0.7 for heptane, 0.5 for ethane, 0.5 for heptane, 0.7 for ethane, and 0.3 for heptane, and 0.9 for ethane, and 0.1 for heptane. There is no need to give additional vapor fraction over here. And once you click one plot and analysis of the plots, you see that these are again independent lines. Similarly, when these plots are merged, you see these are the independent lines and once on merging all these five plots, these all are independent lines. Similarly, if you click for single y-axis plot, because if you see these are more than one y-axis plots, then click on single y-axis and you see single y-axis and single x-axis and you see these are the lines. These are not connected or not near each other. So it means that again ideal property package is not suitable for hydrocarbons or to generate PT and value for hydrocarbons. If you look at the status of this because I have told you that we have to check whether results are available without warning or not but in this case there is a warning that specified property option set ideal or activity coefficient based is inconsistent in the critical region. It means for hydrocarbons to generate PT envelope, you have to use an equation of state. Either it could be Pang Robinson, Sovret Lich Kowang, but it should be the equation of state. Phase envelope results for points in the critical region are unreliable. It, and when it means unreliable, then your simulation is not accurate. And I have told you and discussed in first lecture as well that your simulation should be reliable for accurate results. Similarly, just like this, change it to Peng Robinson equation of state and you see that these diagrams have been improved significantly. So this will be our today's exercise that we will develop it, we will plot it and we will analyze it. Selection of property package is related to CLO number one. The analysis is related to the CLO number four. So let's go back to S1 plus and select ethane and heptane in selected components and click next and initially select ideal property package and run it and once you run it you see the results are available without any warnings now scroll it down click on this analysis because you are now dealing with the two mixture if it's a single pt diagram you could have clicked here at pure which we have already discussed but now in analysis click on new label it as pt1 it's up to you you can use any nomenclature and in select type use pt envelope and click on ok and once you click on ok you have got in under system that it's mole basis you can even select it on mass basis as well but it depends on what is the requirement the units are kg mole per hour and for ethane Currently, it's 50 and 50. And since we are dealing with the first task, so we will add an additional vapor fraction, which is 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. You do not have to enter 0 or 1. So click on run analysis. And after run analysis, in the results, you see this one, the blue line represents the vapor fraction value at 0. One is represented by this green line. and intermediate lines for 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6 and 0 0.8. But if I take you back to this PT1 envelope and take you to the status, then you see the following messages were issued during report generation that what is the warning specified property option set ideal or activity coefficient based in inconsistent in the critical region as we have discussed before and simulation results are unreliable. So what you do, you go to properties, Changes to Peng Robinson, but after selecting it to Peng Robinson, click on next because you see required input incomplete. 
it means you have to estimate the missing parameters click on next and you see the binary interaction parameters are now available firstly click it on run and then come back to this pt1 and once you come back to this pt1 you see status is now with tick and once you go to this pt envelope in results and this pt envelope then you see the results are now reliable so you see dekha aap logo ne ki kis tarah se aap jab ideal property package ko use kar rahe the ya even aap activity coefficient base bhi ko select kar lete hain jo ki nrtl hota ya uniquack hota ya wilson hota to aapke results reliable nahi hone the to isliye aapko pangrobinson equation of state ya even koi bhi equation of state aap select kar sakte hain lekin most suitable is case mein aapki pangrobinson hote hain jab aap srk karke dekhenge to bhi aapko more or less yahi results milenge so ye hamari pehli activity hai this is our first activity that we have varied the mole fractions from 0 to 1 and then we have checked that ideal method is not suitable now our second task is to plot five different mole fractions and we have to then merge these plot so what we do we go to this analysis we generate pt2 with select type as pt envelope click okay and first we will do is 1 And nine. It means point one mole fraction for ten and point nine for have ten and run analysis. And once you run analysis, you see that again in status the same messages appearing that phase envelope is incomplete. Points around the mixture critical point are missing due to inconsistencies with activity coefficient based or ideal property option set. It means you have to select here Pangrobinson. for proper graph but we will do it at the end similarly we will generate the other plots pt3 pt envelope again doing it 3 7 run analysis and the same results will be obtained so similarly quickly i will do for other similarly i have generated pt4 which is related to 5 5 again run analysis similarly pt5 7 3 again run analysis in the same fashion pt6 which is related to the 9 1 and now run analysis and after run analysis you see the results and now merge plots of pt5 over here similarly for pt4 over here similarly for pt3 over here and similarly for pt after you see you have merged plots over here and for single y axis click on y axis map single y axis click okay and you see these graphs have been appearing over here so all the five plots have been merged here and these will be shown here when you run each analysis separately now if i take you back to the envelope one of the envelope status then the results you see are inconsistent so what you need to do you need to change this to pang robinson equation of state so it's changed to pang robinson and i will run the analysis again and on running the analysis you see the change has been done for pt2 only because i have just changed pt2 from ideal to pang robinson ke aap logo ne kya karna hai ki jaun sa plot hai usme wapas jana hai ye pt2 ka plot tha jisko aapne dekh liya ki wo ye depict ho raha hai pt2 was related to 19 pang robinson if i take you to 19. Similarly, आप पी टी थ्री में चले जाए और मैं बल्कि पी टी थ्री पे क्लिक कर देता हूँ आप देखें कि जो टिक हो रहा है इसका मतलब है उसकी प्लॉट सही बने और जो टिक नहीं हो रहा उसका प्लॉट सही नहीं बना सिमिलरली पैंग्रो पेंसन इसमें आप सिलेक्ट कर लें सिमिलरली पी टी फोर के केस में चले जाए तो मैं इन सबको इकट्ठा कर लेता हूँ ताकि वीडियो ज्यादा लेंथी ना हो और बार बार एक चीज रिपीटेशन की तरफ ना आ जाए सिमिलरली आई हैव चेंज फॉर पी टी सिक्स आफ्टर डूइंग द अब pt3 4 5 and 2 i have changed the property package to pangro mention then i will go to system and i will run analysis again to remove the error from this system now you see this pt6 has been generated this is pt6 plot basically aur aap dekh le ki ye sare plots yahan pe developed hue hain pt5 ka plot hai similarly ye pt6 ki pt4 aur ye pt4 ka plot hai सिमिलरली पी टी थ्री का प्लॉट और सिमिलरली इसके आगे जो है अगर आप इसमें जाए पी टी टू का प्लॉट आपको मिल जाएगा 
तो आप इसको अगेन मर्ज करके देखें अगेन मर्ज प्लॉट पी टी थ्री यू सी इट्स अपियरिंग सिमिलरली पी टी फोर सिमिलरली पी टी फाइव सिमिलरली पी टी टू दीज प्लॉट आर नाउ अपियरिंग ओवर हेयर एंड इफ आई टेक इट टू द सिंगल वाई एक्सेस देन यू सी इट इज द सेम प्लॉट एज आई हैव शोन यू इन दैट डायग्राम एज वेल मैं इसको रिपीट कर देता हूँ आप लोगों के लिए उर्दू में भी ताकि आप लोगों को समझने में आसानी अगर किसी को अभी भी यहाँ तक कुछ कंफ्यूजन हो रही है कि सबसे पहले आप लोगों ने क्या करना है कि आपने पी टी वन प्लॉट जनरेट कर लिया फिफ्टी फिफ्थ मॉल वैल्यूज दे के और उसमें आपने डिफरेंट फ्रैक्शन दे दी उसके बाद आप पी टी टू पर चले गए पी टी वन करने के बाद पी टी वन आपकी फर्स्ट एक्टिविटी थी कि जिसमें आपने मॉल फ्रैक्शन वेरी किया पहले आपने आइडियल प्रॉपर्टी पैकेज सेलेक्ट कर लिया और उसके बाद आपने उसको पेंगरो बेंसन करके देख लिया कि आपके रिजल्ट सही आ रहे हैं तो मैं इसको क्लोज कर देता हूँ फिर आप पी पे चले गए आपने इथेन हेप्टेन के लिए वन नाइन पॉइंट वन पॉइंट नाइन मोल फ्रैक्शन सेलेक्ट कर ली पहले आपने आइडियल के लिए सॉल्व कर लिया बाद में आपने उसको पेंगरो बेंसन पे किया लेकिन सबसे पहले हमने क्या किया सिमिलरली पी टी थ्री पी टी फोर पी टी फाइव पी टी सिक्स इन सब में मोल वैल्यूज देते हैं और साथ साथ रन एनालिसिस आपने लाजमी करना है अगर आप रन एनालिसिस नहीं करेंगे तो आपके जब मर्ज जब आप प्लॉट मर्जिंग पे जा रहे होंगे तो ये वो प्लॉट पे शो नहीं हो रहा होगा ये सब करने के बाद आइडियल के साथ आपने देखा कि रिजल्ट सही नहीं आए थे तो फिर आपने क्या किया आप इन सब पे वापस गए पी टी टू पे गए प्रॉपर्टी से जाके आपने पेंगरो बेंसन किया उसको अगेन रन एनालिसिस किया जैसे मैं आपको करके दिखा भी देता हूँ तो देखें जब आप रन एनालिसिस करेंगे तो ये आ गया सिमिलरली अब जब आप पी टी थ्री पे गए आपने फिर से रन एनालिसिस किया तो आपको पी टी थ्री का ग्राफ मिल जाएगा सिमिलरली जब आप पी टी फोर पे जाएंगे आपने फिर उसका रन एनालिसिस करना है तो आपको पी टी फोर में जो है वो उसका आंसर मिल जाएगा सिमिलरली पी टी फाइव में भी आपने यही करना है जब आपने आइडियल से पेंगरो बेंसन पे जा रहे हैं और सिमिलरली जब आप हर जब आप आइडियल लेके चलें या आप पेंगरो बेंसन लेके चलें आपको हर दफा रन एनालिसिस करना पड़ेगा ताकि आप इन द एंड मर्जिंग कर सकें ये मर्ज करने के लिए जरूरी है वैसे तो आप हर एक का अलग अलग एनालिसिस कर रहे हैं अब जैसे देखें ये पी टी का एनालिसिस हो गया जब आप मर्ज प्लॉट पर क्लिक करेंगे तो ये देखें ये चारों प्लॉट अपियर हो रहे हैं पांचवा तो ये है ना बाकी चार ये है तो अगर आपने वो जनरेट नहीं किए होंगे तो वहां पर यह प्लॉट शो नहीं हो रहे होंगे अब देखें मैं इसमें पीटी फाइव ऐड कर देता हूँ तो पीटी फाइव में ये पीटी सिक्स ऐड हो गया सिमिलरली मैं इसको पीटी फोर पे ले जाता हूँ तो तीन प्लॉट ऐड हो गए सिमिलरली मैं पीटी थ्री पे ले जाता हूँ तीसरा प्लॉट ऐड हो गया फिर पीटी टू पे ले जाता हूँ तो ये चौथ सॉरी चौथा और ये पांचवा प्लॉट ऐड हो गया तो ये पांचवा प्लॉट ऐड हो गए फिर आपने वाई एक्सिस मैप पे क्लिक करके सिंगल वाई एक्सिस सेलेक्ट करके इसको ओके कर देना तो आप देखें वही ग्राफ्स आपके दोबारा जनरेट हो गए सो डेट्स हाउ you do the pt envelope in s plus so that's all from my side for now